Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the Raspberry Pi 2. It's a significant upgrade over the B Plus because it's got this brand new chip from Broadcom. It's the BCM2836. It's a quad core ARM7 CPU with the VC4 GPU. So it's got the same GPU that B Plus and previous Pis had, but it's got a quad core A7 CPU, which is much faster more power efficient and more up to date and the memory is on the other side of the board here you have one gigabyte of memory which is twice what the model b plus had most of the rest of it is very similar to the b plus but it's got a lot more processing power something in the region of six to fourteen times depending on what you're doing and how easily it can be made to run in parallel processing the Pi 2 is backward compatible with previous Pis, so you won't have to rewrite all your software. And any B Plus compatible add-ons should work on the Pi 2 as well. Because of the quad-core processor, it uses about the same amount of power as the Model B. The Pi 2 costs $35 plus shipping and local taxes, so it's really a drop-in replacement for the B Plus. Let's see how it compares to the B Plus in a real-life side-by-side test. Notice the four raspberries on the Pi 2 and the Pi 2 is ready to log in. B plus is still booting. Okay, B plus is ready to log in now. Okay, so now let's start LXDE, the GUI. Pi 2 is there already, although it gives us a little error. This is a very early version. And now the B+. So now let's see how long it takes to launch the web browser and load the Raspberry Pi website. Pi 2 on the right, B+, on the left. So we're already there on the Pi 2 and the B+, still has a progress bar and nothing on display just yet. That was pretty snappy on the right, and not too bad on the left, but certainly a big improvement there. Okay, let's see how long it takes to load a different site. We'll flip over to hdmypie.com. So we're already there on the right. There's some graphics on this page as well. Certainly it's quite snappy on the right and look at that scrolling you can scroll up and down on the left I'm trying to scroll it's a little bit laboured and you get the checkerboard which doesn't happen quite so much on the right it's definitely greatly improved performance which is great to see so let's just see how long it takes to start up Sonic Pi Looks like we're there on the Pi 2. And we're now there on the B. So that was a lot quicker too. In summary, the Raspberry Pi 2 has a quad core A7 CPU with a VC4 GPU. The CPU is six times faster. It has one gigabyte of RAM, the same form factor as the B, backward compatibility with previous Pis, and the same $35 price point as the B and the B+. I'll be showing some more detailed testing in a video later this week, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.